On October 11, 2024, Pakistan took a decisive step to enhance its defense capabilities by signing a Memorandum of Understanding Mao with Thailand to acquire 100 Chaiseri First Wind vehicles. This acquisition marks a significant investment in mine-resistant, ambush-protected, MRAP technology, aimed at bolstering the Pakistan Army's operational readiness in challenging environments. The agreement also highlights an evolving defense partnership between the two nations, focusing on defense technology transfer and local production. A notable aspect of this MAO is its inclusion of a technology transfer clause, allowing for a strategic collaboration between Thailand's defense industry and Pakistan's heavy industries Taxila, HIT. This partnership sets the stage for the partial local production of the first wind vehicles within Pakistan, supporting the growth of Pakistan's defense manufacturing capabilities. The MAO is anticipated to evolve into a formal contract later this year, potentially signed during a bilateral meeting or at the upcoming International Military Convention organized by Pakistan's Trade Development Authority in November. Originally developed for the Royal Thai Army in 2010, the first wind vehicle has established itself as a versatile armored platform with a robust track record across multiple nations, including Malaysia and Indonesia. Deployed in United Nations peacekeeping missions and anticipated for use by the Philippine military, the first win is recognized for its adaptability to various combat and operational roles. Designed with a V-shaped hull, the first win deflects explosive blasts, enhancing crew safety. Built to meet NATO armor standards, it withstands impacts from grenades and artillery up to 155 mm caliber. The first win's base model is armed with heavy machine guns and grenade launchers and can transport up to 10 passengers, providing essential protection in hostile zones. The first win 2 model, proposed in the Pakistan Thai Agreement, incorporates advanced features such as a monocoque hull for added durability and increased capacity, with room for up to 11 personnel. This vehicle's modular design allows for various configurations, including troop transport, combat vehicle, ambulance, or reconnaissance, making it highly adaptable to changing mission requirements. The first Win 2 is equipped with state-of-the-art features designed for both survivability and precision in combat. Its remotely operated weapon station, with gyroscopic stabilization, provides 360 degrees rotation and includes an electro-optical suite with thermal and daylight cameras, as well as a laser rangefinder for all condition effectiveness. This vehicle is engineered to continue mission-critical operations even under duress, featuring a run-flat braking system that enables travel up to 50 km post-puncture, an automatic fire suppression system, and a self-recovery winch. To enhance situational awareness, the first Win 2 is fitted with infrared cameras, a laser warning system, and a tactical communication suite with intercom functionality, ensuring seamless coordination on the battlefield. These features underscore the vehicle's suitability for the Pakistan Army's evolving tactical needs. Beyond Thailand, the first wind's adoption across Southeast Asia highlights its rising demand. Malaysia has utilized 20 units of the AV-4 first wind variant since 2015, and the Royal Bhutan Police has deployed 15 units in the Central African Republic as part of UN peacekeeping missions. This track record demonstrates the vehicle's resilience and versatility in various operational settings, positioning it as a reliable asset in Pakistan's defense portfolio. The first win could become HIT's second light armored vehicle in production, following the Dragoon 2 Armored Security Vehicle, ASV, and its first MRAP platform. This acquisition aligns with Pakistan's strategic objective of acquiring a wheeled light armored vehicle, LAV, since 2015. Previous domestic efforts have included the development of the light armed vehicle assault, LAVA, platform and the launch of the Hamza series by Cavalier Group, some of which have been procured for UN peacekeeping missions. This collaboration with Thailand allows Pakistan to advance its light armored vehicle production capabilities through knowledge and technology transfer. The local assembly of first win units by HIT will not only bolster Pakistan's defense industry, but also foster long-term skill development and self-sufficiency in defense manufacturing. The signing of this MAO represents a pivotal milestone in defense relations between Pakistan and Thailand, signifying both nations' commitment to advancing regional security and defense capabilities. As Pakistan moves forward with this acquisition, the integration of the Chaiseri first win into its defense infrastructure will provide a critical boost in protecting personnel and expanding operational versatility in high-risk environments. With potential for local production and technology transfer, this agreement marks an important step towards strengthening Pakistan's defense sector and solidifying its role as a producer of sophisticated military technology.